All right, good day, everyone. Uh, no big deal here to present. It's just uh, I saw that circuit on the internet, and uh, probably the older folks here would probably recognize it. As you can see, there's a light bulb here. Uh, the circuit is currently powered, and of course the light bulb is not on, and that's okay because it's not meant to, to be lit on. It's actually, it's a, uh, an oscillator, a very low frequency oscillator. It's called the Wayne Bridge uh, oscillator. And here is the schematic for those who wants to replicate it. Uh, the value are actually non-critical. You can change the capacitor, oops, the capacitor and the resistor here and there. They have to be the exact same value. If not, the, your sine wave at the output would be will be uh, very weird. And you notice here, there's a pot there. It's actually hiding right there on my board. Since it's not something that you play uh, a lot, unless you actually make it work on different voltage, and the good thing about this, it's uh, unfortunately you need you need a fairly like uh, old vo high voltage to start it, six volt. It's well, it's not really high voltage, but for the normal circuit that I normally work in uh, on for 1.5 volt and above, uh, this one start on six volt and can go up to I have no idea, and the frequency is uh, quite stable. And the thing is, they use the uh, filament of the light bulb to actually create a feedback, and it works. Uh, beats me how, if we get into the details, but as uh, people know, is uh, when the wire gets hot in the light bulb, the resistance becomes from very low to uh, fairly, fairly high. And you see there's a little resistor here at uh, 670 ohm. And uh, like I said, uh, most, free, uh, most value here, you can play with them. And here is the uh, scope shot. Right now, I'm on the settings 1 volt per division. And I'm on 5 milliseconds. So you can see it's a pretty nice sin, uh, sine wave. Actually, I think it's almost perfect, and it's extremely low frequency. I think mine are uh, the, the the value that I put on the circuit gives me about like uh, 50 50 something hertz. And people might know might wonder is like why did I build that? For no reason. I just saw the circuit on the internet, and I thought, well, that would be nice building a sine wave generator out of two transistor. A fairly cheap component and a light bulb and it gives me a uh, perfectly good sine wave and I'm running it right now <clears throat> off those uh, cell phone charger I don't have any use for that since my old cell phone that was meant to be charged with that is long gone so I cut the plug in and I put me my uh, amp meter in and as you can see it draw very little uh, power, like six milliamp. That's that's very very good for something that give me a uh, fairly uh, decent sine wave here. And the other uh, project that I want to show you is uh, you you probably will guess it. Another uh, LED LED lighting lightning lighting device here. And I tried to uh, go a little uh, freak on the side. I order a hundred of those little white LED off eBay for like, I think it was $3. So it's very, very cheap. And I tried to, with regular uh, transistor there, I tried to actually made it a surface mount, but I fail at the uh, inductor level. But for those who wants the schematic, here, I'm gonna show it to you. Here it is. And again, the value are uh, less minus critical. 
the only thing here it's the uh, little 33 ohm resistor which actually set the diodes um, current but I think I will still need to experiment on that circuit because it doesn't work the way I actually want it to work at 3 volts my LED with that setup those, uh, those little LED receive about 11 milliamps and at 1.5 volt the original voltage that I actually wanted to uh, work this, this circuit if it goes like in I think it like three two or three milliamps so it's not very bright but uh, just give me a second here I'll close up the light so you can actually see uh, now right now I have my 10 watt spotlight here so this will give you a comparison I'll turn it off and turn this thing on and wow is it freaking uh it is bright right now the circuit is uh, i think it's actually not efficient at all i think I'm, I'm drawing like off too fresh double a i'm drawing about uh, 150 milliamps which is not too bad 150 milliamps on a regular uh double a should last me about about like 10 hours am I gonna need 10 hours of continuous light no one really actually use that but uh, I figure it would make like a nice emergency light so I still need to do some experiment uh, on the circuit here's the circuit again to uh, make sure that I uh, get the uh, the best of two way most most efficient and I don't burn my LED and as well as the three the battery will deplete I still want to keep the same brightness I have another uh, circuit that I uh, if we you go back in my video I actually made it and it works very well it's not a hundred percent constant current but as the voltage goes from three to one volt the LED change very, very, very uh, little uh, brightness. So, hope you enjoy and uh, have a good day.